The holidays are almost upon us, and this is the time of year when party invites start rolling in, and with them, the never-ending search for that perfect bottle of wine to gift friends and family and potentially get you out of a pinch. Here with a few tips on what you should look for this holiday season when purchasing wine is Master Sommelier Ian Cobble, co-founder of Som Select. First off, Ian, it's great to see you. Thanks Pleasure for to be being here. here. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about Psalm Select. So it's about a year and a half ago, one of my best friends said, let's offer just very simple one wine every day to people who want to know the best wines of the world. So we basically, it's a free subscription to psalmselect.com. You put in your email and you get one email every single day that kind of gives you access to something you might not discover. With a recommendation. Exactly. And where do you draw these, these, this inspiration? You know, these the are the best wines of the world from every appellation that are classic. Barolo, Brunello, Beaujolais, uh, Burgundy, uh, Bordeaux, Napa Valley, Old Napa Cabernet, uh, but something that's the best of its class at every single price point. And then so can the person click and buy the wine from your site? They can at one of the best prices you'll find, delivered to your door. We give free right. shipping included in pricing over $100 a bottle. So it's, it's a unique uh, kind of something that gives you access to wines you won't normally find unless you're going to the French Laundry or, you know, Balud or some of these great restaurants. And, and there's no subscription cost? No, it's all wow. free. You just on select.com and just put your email and, and how do you get the, the best price? Uh, the best price is automatic. We try to, we buy large quantities and kind of get an allocation and we pass that value on. So you'll see the price is about as similar as other retailers, but considering you click twice and it's free shipping, um, we end up being the best solution for your wine. <laughs> Absolutely, needs, yeah. your wine needs. And do you have yeah. a special monthly recommendation as well? Yeah, we have a, something called Psalm 6 and also Blind 6. The Blind 6 is three whites and three reds that are curated to teach you how to blind taste. We give you education on uh, basically how to look at the wine and evaluate the wine's color yeah. by you know nose and smell, uh, taste and structure, and, and kind of give you advice on how to become an expert blind taster. And also there's something called the Psalm 6, and you, it's $199 a month. I send you six bottles, shipping included, of what I think is the best in the world. And these were included in this month's and uh, selection. How do you curate all of this? Are you constantly trying new wines or these wines that you've just known already, known about already? You know, these are the best producers of the world right. who have been making wines for a long time. Right. So <clears throat> luckily through osmosis, I've learned a lot from, you know, other people in the world and I've learned who the great producers are. And, you know, it's not, there's not that many new producers who are changing the world. There's, changing. you know, 10 or 15%. There's amazing things happening in California. The Argentina. wine industry doesn't have a ton of game changers. <clears throat> there, it's there's, happening, there but it's not in the old world. You know, in, in Italy and in Spain and mm -hmm. France, there's people who have been doing the same thing for like a thousand years. And they years. do it well, so why mess with they perfection, do. right? They do. So how do you become a master sommelier? For a lot of people, this seems like a dream job. There's around 200 in the world who have passed since 1969, and you have Not to go lot. through uh, layers of vigorous examinations. Uh, there's a movie called Psalm. Uh, it's on Netflix now. Uh, and there's also, uh, which actually documented my life for around three years and followed did me you, through when, when the most discover, stressful stuff I've ever been through. I'm so. sure, but when did you discover, wow, I have I have a tongue for wine or I, I'm, I'm able to really understand wine? When I went you, to Sonoma State. I played tennis for the school. Okay. And, uh, I was studying Spanish and wine business and I started tasting food and it tasted so amazing because when it's grown in the right place, for example, an heirloom tomato mm -hmm. uh, can taste so amazing with handmade cheese from, you know, the Costa Marin County and some fresh basil. You're like, this has never tasted so good. And then if you go to a, your average supermarket, it's very uh, different. <laughs> yeah, you know, these, the tomatoes taste like cardboard. That's right. Same thing applies to wine. Uh, you can find, you know, Cabernet Franc, for example, what I have here. You brought and Cabernet, lovely. Cabernet Franc. Can Which you're going to pour for us. Is that right? If Are we going to try this? It's too early to drink. Oh, just, please. It's never too early on lunch kidding. break. <laughs> well, we would probably start with the Gamay from, okay. uh, from Marcel Lapierre. Do you want it to have a taste? I would love a taste. Thank right. you so much. Here we go. If that isn't clear by now. <laughs> And these are wines that you recommended on your site. Yes. yes. You know, the sad part is this wine we're having now, I can only get a small amount per year because uh, he's kind of the godfather of natural winemaking in the right. world and everyone wants it. So there's knowledgeable people. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. So there's people like me uh, all over the world that want to drink Marcel Lapierre. This is, can't. there's no sulfur added. Uh, so for those people who are allergic to sulfites, 100% uh, mm -hmm. old vine gamay, planted in granite. Ooh, that's I yummy. opened it up three hours ago. 
That's uh, yummy. Earlier. That's what you recommend. Do you recommend always opening red? No, early? you know, white and red, you know, need a lot of air. So young Should white, I recommend decanting. Temperature of service is very important. That's part of our offers. You'll read on the last paragraph, we'll tell you what it tastes like, the fruits, flowers, herbs, earth, and wood. How tell you it? about, you know, what you should eat with it. We give mm -hmm. you a recipe to pair with it. Mm -hmm. Every single day it's different. Yeah. I have a question because, you know, there are some people that are born athletes. Some people are born good at math. Are there some people that are just born with the taste buds that you need to, to become a sommelier? Is that a talent? I don't really think so. I mean, it's kind of like a vision, you know? It's a vision, okay. Like, you know, if you go to the Louvre and you look at a painting, mm -hmm. we see the same thing. But there's the curator of the of the who studied uh, it for years. Yeah, and he can sit there and talk about it for hours. The right. same thing, sommelier, is to your taste. Right. Um, if you are born with some sort of problem with smell, you're going to have a problem becoming a master sommelier right. because it's very important. I mean, the brain can identify thousands upon thousands Absolutely. of aromas, but it's a, your ability to remember them is very important as are well. Are we going to get to try the other one too before we go? If you want to. Yes, I do. <laughs> Why does he keep asking me if I want to? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's have a quick This is taste. a really special wine. Where is this one from? Uh, this is from the Loire Valley. Uh, these are both French. Mm -hmm. Loire Valley from Chinon, which is just a few hours drive south of Paris, southwest actually. Mm. So this is 100% Cabernet Franc. Ooh, it's amazing. This is slightly this heavier, is, but in a, in a substantial way. It's, 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 mm. it's much more intense. So mm -hmm. this is 2001. This is almost 15 years old. Wow, this is lovely. It's serious. And to think that this is a $35 bottle of wine. $35. Ian, thank you yes. so much for coming on the show today and bringing all these yummy treats with you. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Right on. Thank you.